Welcome to Tulum Beach. If you saw our last episode, you know that we've been staying in the town of Tulum. But now we've come down to the beach for a few days to see what all the hype is about. I will say that off the bat, things are in a different price point than the town. <laughs> Any accommodation under $100, you're probably doing pretty well here. So as we got deeper into the research and our trip approached, we started doing some research on how to keep to a budget in Tulum Beach. And you know, a lot of the articles or recommendations I found weren't all that budgety. So if you're looking on how to do Tulum Beach on a budget, we're gonna show you that. Starting with our accommodation, we ended up here in Selena, which is actually, it's a hostel slash hotel. We ended up booking what they call a micro room. So we have a shared bathroom, but we have our own private room. Really locked up, because we have like a balcony. Essentially a private balcony. I think we just got really lucky. And I hunted around for some deals, so we ended up paying $55 a night. Which, if you're familiar, as I've just become, with the pricing around here, that's an insanely insane. cheap price. To give you an idea, the other accommodations at this price point were literally tents on the beach. So you could sleep in a tent for about $70 a night without air conditioning, or you could sleep across the beach road, which is a good option as well, but you don't have the beachfront access, which is really great. There are a few little tricks that we're gonna show you later though regarding the beach, but I do recommend if you can snag a good deal with beachfront, it opens up a whole new world of possibility here. Many of the beach clubs around here charge a minimum of $35 or more just to use your beach beds for the day. But if you book something right on the beach, you can use the loungers for free, which means you can just hang out here with your bottle of water and watch the water. If you're familiar at all with this area, there's basically one road. Not basically, there is only one road this entire section of Tulum. There's one road with a dead end at the end. There's one way in, one way out, and the road is not great, and there's a lot of cars. Um, Tulum is, especially this section, is absolutely beautiful. But walking on the side of that road is not the most pleasant experience. So if you're standing on the beach and trying to get to a beachfront restaurant, walking along the beach is infinitely more pleasant. All beaches in Tulum are public. It is therefore illegal to restrict access to any beach. However, since you need to walk over private property like a restaurant or a hotel to get from the road to the beach, some of these establishments do make it a little tricky. For right now, we're gonna go get some lunch and we heard a rumor that there's actually a free cenote here, which if you've been here, you know free is not a common word. So we're gonna check out this free cenote and get some lunch. So we made it in here. This is actually also a hostel, a restaurant, and the legends are true. They do have a cenote that you can swim in as long as you're buying a couple beers or I think we're gonna get some food here. It's actually, the setting is actually really nice. So we ordered two burgers. I got a shrimp burger and I forgot a regular burger. It seems like kind of the thing you're supposed to get from here. And had we known, between 6 p.m. and 11 p.m. they have a promotion right now. It's buy one, get one free burger. We might be back. <laughs> the burn. Enjoy it.
Further up the road is the cheapest spot on the beach that we found to grab beers and tacos. If you're entering from the street, you might miss their unassuming entrance. Their tacos are tasty, the drinks are cold, and the location is perfect. Really not sure what else you could ask for. This wouldn't be an episode about doing Tulum on a budget without mentioning the most cost-effective place on the beach strip, the store. You can find pretty good prepared sandwiches, tamales, hot dogs, and a few grocery items on the cheap. It's a convenience store, nothing fancy, but we ate here a few times which allowed us to splurge on a nice dinner. There's a seemingly endless supply of swanky looking restaurants, beach clubs, and hotels all along the strip of beach. And while we are trying to keep to a budget, we couldn't resist the temptation to try one of these beautiful spots for dinner. So we're just walking out to get some dinner. This isn't the absolute cheapest, but we thought maybe we should just show you what reasonable is considered in Tulum. And I'm pretty excited for it. Taking the beach highway. This is amazing. It's so nice. I'm feeling quite grateful. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. It's pushing us to live our best lives. It's thanks to you that we're out here. This place is called La Zebra, and if you time it right, you might catch them for the two for one happy hour like we did. Share with us, make sure you leave it in the comments below. Thanks guys.